testing FSD 14.1.7 in New York. We're gonna see how Tesla FSD handles regular drive. We're gonna navigate to point A to point B. We're gonna change navigation. We're gonna also find out if FSD has issues with leaves in the road and how FSD performs in narrow roads. So let's test all of these. I'm gonna press that start self driving. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Ananto Mohammed and I love to film. Tesla full self driving videos in New York. So we are getting out from my driveway. There are a few leaves in front of us in the road. When I was coming back from this road, FSD avoided that by going all the way right side. Now we're gonna see if FSD does the same thing. It slows down, you can see that. It is, it is getting confused. You see how FSD is avoiding that pile of leaves? interesting right isn't it like very interesting to see how fsd avoided that it went exactly in the middle realized there were a lot of leaves then you know like moved to the left side no hard braking though i have to put it there so that you understand where fsd is you know like what fsd is actually doing so hope you understand that so we make that right turn we're gonna move to the left lane because we're gonna merge on that upcoming stop sign to do that we need to move to the move to the left lane right so we're gonna do that probably very soon so we are going after passing this traffic light we need to move to that left lane because we're gonna merge from there so there is a stop sign in front of us and also these two lane is gonna merge it into one and we'll see how fsd handles that so now right now you can see that sign on the road that we need to merge we moved over and then we need to change one more lane and move to the left lane to make this left turn. So we're gonna see that how FSD handles that. Very good, FSD moves over here to this left turn lane. It is, I, I, act, I actually don't know what we should call it. Like is it a left turn? It's like merging or something. There is no vehicle from our right side so we can definitely proceed, FSD proceeding without any problem we make uh, that uh, left turn and then we're gonna make a left turn i'm gonna change the navigation to see a narrow road how fsd handles normally on that road there are lots of leaves on the road so we're gonna test that and then we're gonna try another location where there is a school zone lights on and there is a sign of a school zone so we're gonna test that out so i'm gonna change that to driveway to a street because i'm not gonna park in someone's driveway so I changed that, we're gonna stay here, I guess, and then I'm gonna change the location one more time. So I put it street. I'm gonna change the location right now, so let's do it. So I'm gonna press that start self-driving button one more time. I did that, there is a school bus on my left side. We are reversing and then we're gonna get out from here. Very good job, immediately FSD takes action. We're gonna make a left turn. No, actually, we're not following that. We're just gonna make a right turn here. Oh my God, this is interesting. I, I really wanted to test that narrow road, but for some reason FSD decided to do that. That's also fine. This is also a very narrow road. We're gonna make a right turn and then make a left turn. We're gonna see how FSD handles this rest of the drive. I really wanted to try that, but FSD decided to choose another route instead of my preferred route, which is absolutely fine. I get it. Like you don't need to make this right turn and make this route longer. We're gonna make our left turn and we stop for this stop sign. We definitely need to look on our left side, right side. There is not a no vehicle on my left side and right side. FSD makes that left turn perfectly. Without any problem, we're gonna make a right turn on this traffic light and we're immediately gonna make a left turn on that upcoming traffic light too. And then we're gonna face that school zone. We'll see how FSD handles that. We are on Mad Max profile right now and we'll see how FSD handles the rest of the drive, right guys? So making a left turn, you will see that school sign right over there. School limit 20, flushing red, FSD slows down, very good job. Immediately recognize that sign. So future Renato here, so here is my thought. So with school bus where there is a sign of a school sign as well as a flushing yellow light, I always find out FSD recognize that sign with that flushing yellow light. But whenever we see a school sign without that flashing yellow light, FSD can't recognize that. But I'm very hopeful because I think Tesla AI team will train this model when they solve unsupervised FSD. That mo 
that moment they're gonna train this model to recognize all the sign and then FSD will you know like be able to capture this flashing yellow light or without flashing yellow light school zone school bus stop sign or different kind of sign yelled or there are like multiple sign in the road we always saw right so I think Tesla AI team will you know like train this model to understand all these uh, sign and uh, yeah I guess that's my hope hope because we just need to solve this FSD first like full self-driving without supervision right and then it could be very easy to solve this kind of recognition of sign other stuff like you know navigation issues there are like so many issues we still have it but the problem is we have to solve you know like FSD like unsupervised full self-driving and then we can all you know train this model with so much data and FSD can just drive flawlessly again there is that school sign uh, on our right side we're gonna make a right turn so that is my take that if there is a flushing yellow light fsd can recognize that but without that fsd kind of you know like hesitate to do that um very interesting right so we're gonna stop on this stop sign and then we're gonna keep going car is backing out FSD needs to get into that lane, very good. And now we need to stay on the right side, okay, because we're gonna go straight, very good. The light change, we can proceed. Hesitation there, green light. A Little bit of hesitation there, I don't know why that happened, but um, FSD immediately recognized that the light change and it just proceeded. But there is a little bit of hesitation there on that green light, really uh, didn't happen that earlier. Uh, videos but I can definitely tell you there is a little bit of hesitation on that uh, traffic light very interesting to see that though so we are gonna go right now and I'm just wanna see that so here is a navigation issues like this road doesn't exist anymore the new road is this one but the navigation doesn't have data so we're gonna see if FSD can recognize that in my last video it did it but sometimes in you know like you'd see that it turns on the right indicator it shouldn't um sometimes when it turns on the right indicator it just gets into that road you shouldn't get in here very good very good it decided you see it it this it it was trying to make that right turn and then recognized with his camera that oh i don't need to make that right turn right so very good decision making there so we're gonna go after this car i'm, I'm very hopeful so we are making this right turn perfectly uh, this is where we should make that right turn not in that road that was that old navigation uh, and uh, Google doesn't or Tesla doesn't update that navigation I also made this video available for channel members only if you're interested in this video or many other exclusive FSD videos you can join my YouTube membership for just two dollar by doing that you're supporting me and my family thank you so we'll make a right turn here and then I'm gonna see how FSD handles narrow road as well as unprotected left turn this is a critical unprotected left turn guys because this one you need to stop on a stop sign you're gonna creep to look on your left side right side if there is no vehicle you're gonna go straight and make a right turn and immediately make a u-turn so these are some some unprotected left turn that is not very you know like common so there is one vehicle getting into the driveway fsd waited for him perfectly without any problem very generous and very nice so we're gonna get out from here and we're gonna see how fsd handles this unprotected left turn so i'm gonna end the video i'm gonna put it okay you shouldn't go there okay so it is probably gonna try to park so let's see yeah so right now i just it's just gonna park right over here oh no it didn't park so it knows that navigation is changed i can make this very good so now the sun is directly hitting in the cameras we'll see how fsd handles the rest of the drive we're gonna go a straight stop for this stop sign and then we are gonna go and uh, make a right turn and make a u-turn right so we're going guys uh we're gonna stop here the sun is directly hitting in the cameras and we'll see how fsd handles 
there is no vehicle from our left side going straight perfectly came over to this left turn lane and we're gonna make a u-turn but there is vehicle on the opposite side so we definitely have to wait after this one we're gonna make a u-turn very good job very good decision making right away make this u-turn and now we are gonna go you see that person didn't even stop wow and FSD didn't increase the speed because the light changed so there is no point to increase the speed very human like driving guys so we're just gonna navigate to our final destination we'll see how FSD handles um, from point A to point B. So imagine I'm going to my work, I'm gonna put that location on my navigation and FSD is gonna take me uh, from my location to my second location, right? So we'll see that how FSD handles that, right guys? This will be interesting to see. So we are navigating and FSD is going. This lane is gonna merge us into one lane. We all know that very good job there slows down tiny bit because of because we're turning again the Sun is hitting in the cameras pretty sure it just changed the lane to go a little faster I guess that vehicle seems a little slower and now again changing lane move to the faster lane very good like very human like driving i don't mind like when you're changing lane safely um, i don't have any issues with that so um, there will be traffic in front of us there is a railroad track in front of us too so we'll see how fsd handles everything in this drive right guys this will be an interesting drive and we'll see how fsd handles that slows down slows down really don't know hesitation there definitely a little bit because that school bus was stopped so fsd thought like why that car or the bus is stopped there so fsd hesitate a little bit again you see that school bus again is stopped so fsd always recognize that like okay that vehicle is stopped so there could be something in front of it right so that's where fsd also breaks a little bit to first think like oh is there anything and then it proceeded so I saw that behavior in this software version that FSD first time anytime it sees a vehicle on the other lane stopped and there are a space in front of it FSD breaks a little bit to see what is happening and then it processes. so that is one you know like new thing to inform you guys that how FSD reacts to it so this is a new thing I definitely can you know like tell you and now we're gonna play that game that you all love. So I'm gonna tell you a number. You're just gonna comment back that number in the comment section so I know you watched the video till now. For today's episode, the number will be three. So just write down three in the comment section. That'll be amazing to know that you watched the video till now. And let's go back to the video, guys. Again, you can see that how FSD changed the lane to go a little faster. This will be interesting because very soon we're gonna make a lane change because we're gonna make a left turn so we'll see how fsd handles that now we're increasing in speed and we're gonna probably merge immediately in this gap on this left lane very good like very human like driving you see that turns on indicator changing the lane and slowing down because the traffic in front of us slows down we're gonna get into this left turn lane very human like driving very intelligent right over there so we're gonna stay in this lane we're gonna make a left turn we'll see how fsd handles right it should increase the speed it shouldn't keep this uh, gap because the light will change and we will get stuck behind this light i don't need and want that so make that left turn perfectly even though the light changed right now but if it didn't confuse get confused or something like that so we make this left turn and now we are proceeding without any problem we're just two minutes away from our destination i will see if fsd can park in the empty lot and we'll find that out at the very end right guys so let's do that right so because we are following this lane because we're gonna make a right turn that's why fsd was slow and we have car in front of us 
FSD could easily go on the left lane because it didn't go because we're going to make a right turn right over here. So make 100% sense that FSD, even if we are in Mad Max profile, it didn't try to overtake that moment. So we're going to get into this parking lot. We'll see if FSD can park in an empty space and we're going to end that video. Hopefully you get that idea how FSD handles leaves on the road and how it you know do things here and there we're gonna park right over here okay in this narrow space um okay we're gonna find that out how if it handles that though it shouldn't it could just go a little forward and then park but it decided to park here which is absolutely fine it's just the front door is so far from here so you probably have to walk a little bit but it did park by itself didn't have any problem hopefully if you enjoyed this video please make sure you hit that subscribe button thank you for watching i love you so much let me know in the comment what else you want to watch with this software update thank you for watching and i love you and have a wonderful day